Hello everyone, welcome to the Power BI course. Today we are going to learn map visuals in Power BI in this visualization series. And we are going to learn all three maps like bubble map, which is basic map, then field map, and then shape map as well. So the shape map can plot maximum 1500 data points and shape map visual uh, used to uh, compare the region on the map using color. So it compares the region basically by color coding. Sometimes it may happen that uh, it's not showing up the exact location. Then the bubble map, you can use the bubble size by the values or the field if you uh, want. And then also you can color code by any field if you like. The field map, a similar thing, you can use the color coding and the field map displays the quantitative information on map and it shows the sp spatial patterns and relationships. So as you can see that here I color coded with the sales so you can use that as a like it's creating a pattern in different colors. So uh, without a delay let's get started. I'm going to open up Power BI and I have a data model here where I have my geo table. So you need to do for um, each column like city, I have state, uh, zip, state, district. So all these column, when you click on uh, the column, uh, then you need to change the data category accordingly. So this is a city column and so I selected a city from here. If it's state then you can choose the state or province so you can uh, you have to change the data category if you don't change it then it will not show up your location on the map so that you need to do that sometimes even though after doing it it's not properly showing your location and in that case you can actually use the longitude and latitude so i just selected the basic bubble map and here you have these fields, uh, longitude and latitude. You can uh, add that so it can show the location properly. Now uh, let's put it some data here. So I have my hierarchy and my geo hierarchy has a state, city and zip uh, in that. So if you use a hierarchy, so let's use it. So it straight away picked up the location uh, space and you have uh, these um, two um, buttons here where you can uh, drill area on the map okay so you can use that then uh, let's use as a bubble size let me use something so i wanted to use let's say sales so bubble size should be uh, based on the sales and you can see here that it shows different size of the bubbles now so now let's format it so i'm going to click on my format pane and i want my map setting as uh, so there are a few different styles uh, you can choose if you choose aerial it look like this you can choose a dark so it shows like dark black color you can choose the light color and so you can choose the style accordingly you can choose these gray as well so i'm going to leave it on the road which is default and uh, that is about uh, style you can shows the uh, like show labels so it's going to show the labels you can turn it off that as well so it, it, you cannot see here which country like country name or label so now you can see continent or country name so uh, let's look at another thing then the control so zoom button i would like to have that so my users can uh, zoom in um, themselves using the button so that is a good feature then uh, you can uh, see the bubble size uh, you can uh, change it to uh, magnitude data range or auto should be good so you can use that as well you can change the bubble size but in our case it's already some bubbles are really big because of the uh, sales we put it there so i will like that um, 
then you can uh, go to the colors and currently we have this color just one color if you click on show all it's going to show uh, to all states color like similar so you, I just wanted to turn it off and then I'm going to click on this um, button for the conditional formatting so let's have a conditional formatting so you can go by rules or by gradient or the field value you can create your own rules but I for now I'm going to use the gradient and my choice of the field would be my market share percentage so my market share percentage and then how how should we format empty cells like a zero okay that's fine my lowest value should be in a red color my highest value i wanted to put it on a nice green bright color so that and I also wanted to add my middle color so that so which is nice red yellow and green and I'm going to click on OK and now we have three colors on based on our market share so as you can see our uh, bubble size shows our total sales and then our market share percentage shows by the color so uh, it's nice information you can add couple more a uh, couple of more uh, fields in a tooltip uh, if you wanted to add more information for example market share itself because it's only currently showing up as a color so now your tooltip will show the numbers as well you can add maybe any other um, any other category like total category volume something like that so that you can do and let's check it out on something so here so my uh, market share is low so that is 20 percent my sales shows my state shows then my total category volume shows as well uh, and let's check on this nice green so as you can see the market share is nearly 50 percent and that's why it shows in green however the sales is low and so my bubble size is smaller and my total category volume that is also smaller compared to this okay so uh, that is uh, about the conditional formatting and colors uh, let's look at other stuff then the category labels category labels uh, if you turn it on it gives like a very crowdy look so like this so it's better to uh, stay away and you can put it because it's already showing up in the tooltip so we don't really need it so then you can you can convert this map on the heat map as well but but then it will go back to the regular color and it will show as a as a light and dark um, color which is even though if you change a color i don't think it will look good so you can you can turn it on if you like but that is the option so i'm going to turn it off and i i'm happy with my current look so uh, this is all about the uh, bubble map now let's convert the same visual on the on the field map and it's the same formatting same thing it just now filled all color uh, instead of the bubble uh, it filled to the state uh, to the full state so that is only the difference between two and if you click on this uh, shape map then then it shows uh, like this uh, different colors and as i already mentioned here that it um, it just compares the different states by color coding and that is all about the that is all about the shape map.
so you can change the color if you wish if you don't like something but uh, that is about that it shows all different colors for all states so that is about that the this other formatting stuff is usual stuff so uh, this is all about our uh, three maps guys and the legends are uh, are on and you can you can change the location like right center and all that we already learned that on different visual so uh, this is all about the maps in power bi guys if you like the content of the video then please like comment share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching